Hi, this is Carl Good. I'm doing a tutorial on how to make maps in Adobe Illustrator CS4. What I've, I've done is so far is I've drawn all of the states in previous uh, parts of this tutorial, and I am ready to create city dots and label, uh, label the states, but the problem is uh, all of these things are in the way of my base map, which is down here on the bottom layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn off all the other layers, just turn them all off, except for um, I'm going to leave my uh, roads and my labels layers on. But basically, I turned off all those polygons oh, and, and city, uh, city dots. Those three I'm still going to work on. So the way, to make it, the, the way to make this happen, let's go zoom in on Michigan here. You can see that I'm not going to draw all of these cities. I'm just going to give you an idea. And so, you know, Grand Rapids is a pretty big city. Lansing, I'm, I live in East Lansing. You've got Detroit here. There's a lot of big cities here, Flint. So what we're going to do is uh, draw a dot. Now, I'm going to click on the square tool up here and hold it, hold it down. And you'll see a lot of options come here, star, polygon, stuff like that. Ellipse tool is your circle tool. Um, I can come out here on the side and hold the shift key down and, you can, and draw a little circle, um, you know, thinking about the size of my map. And then I can come up to colors and I can say, let's, I don't really need a line around that. I mainly want the fill to be black. It'll be a little simpler and less clunky than having a big fat line around it. So there's my dot. Now I can move my dot over in, in place here. Um, or, you know, and then I can hold the option key down. And you'll see that when you hold the option key down, um, you actually, uh, you actually get uh, a different kind of arrow. Do you see that there? You get a second arrow, which means duplicate. So I can actually click on that flint dot there, and I can drag it out to Lansing. I do that. And once you've drawn one dot, you can actually go to Window and open up Symbols. And you'll see that I have some symbols here. I'll, if I want to create a new symbol, I just draw anything on the, on the desktop, anything on my desktop, and just drag it in there. And it says, what do you want to call this? And I'll call it a city dot. You can have a large city dot. You can have a small city dot. And there's my dot. Now, with the symbols uh, window open, I can just drag that dot out until I'm, you know, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, um, uh, Lansing. Detroit is a little tougher because it is a massive city by comparison to these other places. So um, I'm holding down the space bar and dragging this down. Um, you know, I live here, so I know that, but, you know, these are all pretty cool cities up here. So uh, Cadillac, you know, uh, Saginaw, they're all great cities. Um, so uh, basically, once you've done all of that, let's see if make sure that I'm on the city layer. I am not. I've just drawn all of these things on the base map layer, which is bad. I want to have them up on the city dots layer. I keep doing that, and that's because I'm thinking about other things, as we all do. So I'm going to select one of these dots. I'm going to move them up to the city dots layer. I'm going to select one of them, and then I'm going to come up here to select same fill color, and it'll select, uh, oh, it, oh, it's interesting. It didn't do it because these are symbols. That is interesting. What do you know? Select same uh, symbol instance. There it is. I've never done that before, so now I know. So there I've selected all these symbol instances, and they're all on that base map layer. There's a little square box that appears at the right when things are selected on that layer, telling you what layer they're on. So I can click on that box and just drag it up to city dots, and they'll, they'll go from being blue to yellow, because yellow is the selection color for that layer. I can double click on that and change that actually to any color I want. And now they're orange. And so now I have my city dots. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my labels, and leave my city dots alone. I can even lock the city dots. If I turn the lock on, I can lock the base map so I can't accidentally move that. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go up to my type tool and I'm gonna click here. We'll, we'll start with Saginaw. There's a Saginaw right here. Or I'll, t I'll, I'll type out here so you can see a little bit better. Maybe I'll even zoom in a little bit on that. And this is a four inch by four inch map. So I just click there and I can see that I've got, I have 12 point type up here. I can see that all of these bar changes depending on what tool you're on, right? It used to be line weights and now it's type. I can go to window and change that to, uh, I can also go to type and open character styles and open this, uh, this window. Oh, not character, character styles, I'm sorry. Window type, uh, just plain old character. And you get these type, all of these type functions. Or I can just hit Apple T 
and get the same window. So I can actually reduce this down to, uh, I think nine point is a really good size for a four point map, uh, four inch map. And uh, Myriad Pro is fine. If I wanted to change the font, I could just do that right here. But Myriad Pro, Pro is just fine. So now I'll type in, uh, let's see, what was that Saginaw? Saginaw. And let's zoom back out here so we can, you know, I'm a little close in and getting claustrophobic there. So uh, it looks like big type, but keep in mind that this is uh, a very small map. So part of what I wished I'd done first is I like to make these dots the X height of the, of the font. So I would actually have made this dot a little bit bigger um, just because I'm, I'm a little more careful that way. But now that I've drawn that, I don't have to redo it. What I can do is a couple of things. I can uh, hold the option key down just like I did with the, the dots in an earlier thing and duplicate Saginaw around and uh, use it as a uh, template for for typing other cities in. So now I'll do Flint and Grand Rapids, Lansing, Detroit, Detroit, and Battle Creek. And we got some more up there. Well, I'll add those in a little later. So you can see I have all of these cities in here. And um, when I, if I turn on my, my layers now, turn on my layers, turn my layers back on, you'll see that I actually have some nice, nice things going on here with these cities. And I can move them around and be a little more careful. I actually really want to place these very, very methodically and carefully. And uh, you can, I could wrap uh, Grand Rapids onto two lines. That would be nice. And it's now you can see there's too much space between the two Grand and Rapids. That's called letting. There's too much letting. So if I if I double click on the word Rapids, you can see I have 10 point height letting. I think it's a little too too open. Uh, but so I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, a nine point label letting just because it's a label and it tightens it up a little bit nicely. And then move Flint over. And you can see I have these labels looking pretty, you know. Maybe you want to make Detroit bold, so you can come here and call it bold because it's a bigger city. And a lot of that's a nice, that can look very nice. And then I'm going to come over here and click on the type tool. Click right in the center of Michigan, hold the caps lock T down and type in Michigan. And select it. And I can actually make that not bold. I think it might be nice for that to be actually regular. Um, you can click on more options here for type and say show options and that allow you to uh, You know, you don't ever want to stretch type, but there's not many much here. We want to use for this, but we can actually add um, You know some space between the letters if you want you can go crazy with it add 200 uh, Things just to give you you know give it a little bit more of a, of a shape to it and Spread out a little bit now the last thing I want to do here on this label um, uh, what I'll do here, by the way, is I'll duplicate this around and, uh, you know, call this just by holding the, sh the option key down and dragging. And I'll call this, uh, Wis Wis you know, Wisconsin, Wisconsin and so on. Now, you're always going to make sure with Michigan to also label the upper peninsula. And the other thing I want to show you is basically I'm going to, um, if, you, if you get this crosshairs when you select the pen tool, it's because your caps lock key is on. So I'll take that off. I'm going to draw a curve here, just like we I showed you the Bezier curve before. So now I've drawn that curve. Um, it has a fill of blue. You can't see it because the water. I don't really want a fill of blue. I want it to be uh, no fill with a line of line color of black, so you can see it. Now you see I've drawn a nice curved line there, and I can go with my arrow and select it and make a few adjustments if I want. Grab those things, uh, those handles for you know I can adjust it and move it all I want. But if I hold the text key down, and uh, you can see I have all these options for type. Here's type on a path tool. So I can just select that and then click on that path and then type in Lake Michigan, Michigan like that. And, uh, and I can also move that along. I can also grab these little handles here and uh, I, can move, uh, I can move it along that line back and forth. I can flip it upside down. There are all sorts of you know, vile, you know, things you can do to that. Um, you know, you can make, if, if the, your colors are much darker, you can make things white. Th I think both work here for this neutral color. So uh, I'll go ahead and label these other lakes and uh, other states and uh, cities, and uh, we'll, we'll move on with the tutorial, and we'll do some roads.